I want to show you some of the extra features with WebEx recordings. From your WebEx dashboard, click on Preferences. Then select Recording. The first option is for transcripts. When the box is checked, you'll get a transcript for all of your recordings. The next option is the recording view. First, you can have the content with a thumbnail of all of the participants. The second is the content and the active speaker. The third is content only, so no participant video gets recorded. This is my preference, since then I don't have to worry about privacy issues. Now let's look at the extra features you have once a recording is created. Click on Recordings on the left-hand side of the screen. Find your recording and click on the name of that recording to open it. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have a transcript. This is used to generate the closed captioning for the video. When you play the video, you'll notice I have two icons on the left-hand side of the screen. The top is the participant list. This tells you the names of all of the participants as well as when they joined and left the meeting. I was the only participant in this meeting, so I'm the only participant listed. Just below that is the chat icon. This provides the full transcript for the chat. At the top of the screen, just to the right of the title, are three icons. The first icon allows you to download the file. We discussed this during the video on recording in WebEx. Remember, long recordings or those of a large file size will take a long time to download. The second icon is the sharing icon. This allows you to share a link to the recording. This is a better option if you have large files or if you want to share the recording with a class. You can just copy and paste the link and give out a password. Speaking of passwords, you can change this one. Just make sure it meets the list of requirements. You can even use something funny like eight blue cows. The third icon is the edit feature. This allows you to edit the title and change what gets included when you share the recording. Remember, I only had two icons in my recording. That's because I only use chat and participants during my meeting. If I were to have had a question and answer board or shared polls, those would also be shared as icons. You also have the ability to remove the transcripts and you can include a description of the video if you would like. Once you make any changes, click Save. If you change any of the checkboxes, you need to refresh the window in order for those to apply. Those are all of the extra features of recording in WebEx.